Hello, in this chapter, I'm going to talk about annuity. So for most of us, we weren't able to put a large sum amount of money in the bank at one time. Instead, we save for the future by depositing a smaller amount of money from each paycheck into the, bar, into the bank. The idea is called saving annuity. Most of the retirement plan like 401k or IRA plans are example of saving annuity. So, so when you try to save up money, like for the future, you want to have some, you want to put into a saving account with like a ten percent annual interest rate, and you know that like our previous video, you might think, hey, I want a fourteen thousand in eighteen years. Now you want to put eighteen thousand at one time and sit in there for eighteen years. But in reality, we know that this is lots of us. We can do that, right? Most likely, we like put some. We contribute maybe five hundred each month, and then see after fourteen years if we can reach our goal, which is fourteen thousand, <clears throat> something like that. So this is annuity. So here is the formula for annuity. So P N equals to D times <coughs> parentheses A plus R over K to N to the K minus one over R divided by K. So P N is the balance in the amount after n years. So this is the ending amount, and then D is the regular deposit, the amount you deposit each year, each month, etc. And then R is the annual interest rate in a decimal form, such as six percent. You need to write it as point zero six. K is the number of compound period in a year, so we talked about that. So, which is if you compound quarterly, K is equal to four. If you compound daily, you're going to compound it. You're going to compound it three hundred and sixty-five times in a year. Okay. So now let's try to do it. So what's the difference, Ben? Um, what's the difference in annuity versus compound interest? So let's review what is compound interest. So compound interest, we have the formula of p sub zero times a plus r over k over n plus k. <coughs> so the difference is. is Compound interesting is you put the amount of money into the bank at one time, so that means you only have one deposit. Whereas annuity is you will have multiple with incursive deposits. So for this simple model, I know that in reality, in real life, you may deposit one hundred this month and two hundred next month. But in this model, we only discuss each month or each deposit is going to be the same amount. So which is D, our regular deposit. Okay. So now let's take a look. <clears throat> so a traditional individual retirement account (IRA) is a special type of retirement account in which the money you invest is an exam from income taxes until you withdraw it. If you deposit a hundred each month into an IRA earning six percent interest, how much will you have the account after twenty years? So this is what. This is we use compound interest or annuity. So look, since you are going to deposit a hundred. Each month into the IRA account, so we know that hey, this is going to be a recursive, um, recursive account, a recursive uh, deposit. So that means we need to use annuity. So let's write down the formula. We have P times N equals to D to the one plus R over K to the N K minus one over R over K. Okay, that formula may looks really complicated, but once 
you identify which number corresponding to which, then we will know how to do that. Okay, so now let's take a look at each number. So since you deposit 100 each month, that means D is equals to 100. And then the earning is 6% interest. So R is equals to 0 0.06. And then 20 years. Twenty years. That means and the time is twenty. Okay, now it's k. K is equals to what? So since look at here, since you mentioned it, hey, you're gonna deposit each month. So that means our k is going to be twenty and uh, twelve. Okay, so the rest is you just plug in the numbers. So p n equals to 100 times 1 plus 106 over 12 and to the k which is once oh sorry n is equals to 20 times k 12 minus 1 parentheses over 0 0.06 over 12 okay how we're going to do this. So remember the order of pandas. You always do in whatever inside the parentheses and then exponents, right? So you would do the first is 0 0.006 divided by 12, which gives you 0 0.005 and you add one. So whatever inside the parentheses, you have 1, 0, 0, 5. To 20 times 12, which is 240 minus 1 over 1006 divided by 12 is 1005. And then next is you want to calculate 1.005 to the 250 exponent is equals to what? 3.310. I would suggest you try to pause the video and try to do it by yourself and see if you get the same answer. And then the next is whatever inside the parentheses, which is 2.310 over 0, 0.05. And then I assume you will know how to do the rest. So you will have 46,200. Oops. 46,200. Okay, here's another example. Again, I will write down the formula first. So I have Pn equals to D times 1 plus R over K, M times K minus 1. Don't worry about it. During the quiz or test, I will post the, um, the uh, formulas online, so you don't really need to memorize it. But if you can memorize it, that would be great. Okay, you want to have 20,000 in your account. So that means 20,000 is the ending amount that you want. So you want PN equals to 20,000. And then when you retire in 13 years, so that means N equals to 30. Your retirement account earns 8% interest rate. So that means R is equal to 0 0.08. How much do you need to deposit each month to meet the retirement goal? Okay, since it's deposit each month. So that means our K equals to 12. And we are trying to find D. D is unknown. Not hard. We just need to substitute all of the numbers in it. And then we will be able to do that. And then solve for D. 20,000 equals to D 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12 to 12 times 30 minus 1 over 0 0.08 over 12. Now, let's do it. So again, you calculate whatever inside the parentheses first. So you have a 1.00. 
667 to 360 power minus 1 over 0 0.00667. And then you raise to the 360 power and minus 1, you will have 200,000 equals to D times Forty-nine point fifty-seven, and then we divide it on one thousand four hundred ninety-one point fifty-seven on both sides. Then you will get D equals to one hundred thirteen-four and nine cents. Again, your final answer should round to the nearest penny. Okay, so I'm going to recap the difference between annuity and the compound interest. When should you use compound interest? Compound interest is when you have one deposit. Annuity is more like when you have multiple repeatedly recursive deposits. Okay, that's it for the day. Let me know if you have other questions.